Peru is considered one of the countries with the greatest mega diversity in the planet. It has an outstanding diversity of resources, of living plants and animals. Centuries or even millennium years ago, Peruvians domesticated 182 species of plants and five types of animals. And therefore, today, Peru is considered the Earth's genetic bank. Not only this meaning nutritional security to Peru, but it will also be a strategic source in the 21st century. Today, worldwide, there is an increased demand for natural products based on the biodiversity and there is a development of a new commercial heading known as biotrading or biotrade. Seldom countries in the world possess such a diversity of living resources or biological diversity such as ecosystems and species, genetic variability and traditional knowledge associated between. This biological diversity has been food for the local communities in our country and now more so it is outlined as a great opportunity for commerce nationally and internationally through biocommerce. Peru has an enormous diversity of fruit, medicinal, ornamental and nutritional used in a traditional manner by the local people. We are number one producers of orchids with more than 4,000 species. Also, our country has around 25,000 species of plants, representing a 10% of the world, as which 30% of them exist only in our country, and 4,500 are used for different ways by the local communities. Concerning the fauna, our country counts with great variety of mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians and fish. It is first or ahead in species of butterflies and second in species of birds. In Peru for more than 10,000 years we have developed a long process of domestication and a selection of plants and animals and our country is considered one of the world's oldest centers of agriculture and cattle raising. It is estimated that in our country there are 182 species of native plants domesticated with hundreds and even thousands of varieties. And also there are wild forms that preceded the domesticated ones. We have domesticated five species of animals in Peru. The alpaca, which is the domestic version of the vicuña. The llama, which is the domesticated version of the guanaco. The guinea pig, which is the domesticated version of the poronkoi or wild guinea pig of the Andes. The creole duck or jock, which is the domesticated version of the Amazonian duck. And the cochineal, associated to the crop of the tuna. In Peru we use some about 5,000 plants, which around 4,400 of them are native and for 49 different purposes. These uses are very important to supply local population and cities and rural vicinities. The International Center of Potatoes, CIP, registers more than 4,000 kinds of potatoes. Peru itself has more than 4,000 species. Potatoes contribution to the feeding of the world is so enormous and very important because it's one of the four most important nutritional land products for the security of humanity next to wheat, rice and corn. 
Peru also possesses a high diversity of original cultures, with a number of tongues and expressions in arts and crafts, music, philosophy on life, culinary traditions and other original manifestations. Also the aboriginal cultures through millenniums have acquired and transmitted traditional knowledge that becomes part of our scientific and technological heritage. This has woken up the world's conscience, especially in the pharmaceutical industry and biotechnology. Even so, the challenge relies on taking advantage of this for the well-being of Peruvians and the world as well. It is estimated that the first human groups that established in the Andes and the Amazon 15,000 years ago, even though some think it could have been earlier, during this long period they developed with very little foreign access, a series of knowledge and technology that started from their adaptability to the heterogeneous ecological surroundings, from the deserts of the coast, the complexity of the Andes to the diverse ecological richness of the Amazon. For its extraordinary biological diversity, Peru has constituted inside the genetic bank of the world, but it is also a source of new opportunity for business with bases in the local communities. That's why there are joint forces between government institutions industrial world and international technical cooperation giving birth to national program of promotion of Biomercado. Let us watch in the following block more about the program and the opportunities that come with it.